guys so today I'm going to show you how to do a facial on a client um I have my area set up and so all of my stuff is prepped and ready to go the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove any of my rings or bracelets just to be sure that I don't um irritate this client's skin or cause an injury or even damage my jewelry so I'm just gonna put that over here and then I'm going to sanitize my hands okay the next thing you're gonna do is you're just going to kind of have a consultation with your client and figure out whether you think they have oily skin dry skin or a mixture combination um then you're going to prep your client so you want to put a headband on them to push back all of their hair from their face to make sure you don't have any hair and the masks and cleanser if their hair is down you can just use a little clippy to pull their hair back but her hair is in a ponytail and I just push that right back to the hairline. Um, then I'm going to use a makeup wipe and just remove any makeup from her face. And always be sure to go in an upward motion. This helps so you don't drag the face down and cause wrinkles eventually just kind of helps work against gravity. Then immediately throw that away. Now I'm gonna get my cleanser. And if you're doing this on a client, typically you'll use a little um, electric brush, which helps cleanse it better. Um, I'm just gonna use cotton pads, which we use on the mannequins too. Um, and I just make sure that your container or whatever doesn't touch the cotton for sanitary reasons. And if you're using the brush at school or in a salon, um, put the cleanser on her face and then put the brush on her face and then turn it on. That just helps to keep from messes spreading everywhere. So I'm gonna start at her neck and I'm just gonna start going in a rhythmic movement up her face. So always have one hand on her. So if my left hand is off, then I'll have my right hand and I'm just gonna keep working. Look, I already just did it. In an upward motion going from her neck, on her jawline, up her temples, and then on her forehead. And then I immediately throw that away. Okay, so now that I have the cleanser on, I'm just gonna remove it with a warm towel. You're gonna take your towel and grab it from corner to corner, long ways, so it's like this. Then you're gonna take it and grab it kind of in the middle, like right here, and place it either under her nose, just covering her mouth, or just right under her, just place it right under her mouth Hold it and bring up one corner over her face and hold it and then bring it over. So, turn your head this way. This is what should be showing, just her little mouth and nose so she can breathe. Then you're gonna take your hands and just kind of cup them at her jawline and chin, then up at her cheeks and then at her forehead just to remove it. And then you can just swipe it up and wipe anything necessary. And then you, that would be a dirty towel and you'd need a new towel next time. Okay, and then we're gonna cleanse it again, exactly how we did last time. So cleanser on the pad or directly on the face. If you're using a brush, then you're just gonna keep going in upward motions. Just like that. And then throw these away. 
Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing. Get our towel with at the corners. Place it directly under her mouth. Hold it. Bring the corner up. The other corner up. And then hold at her chin, her cheekbones, and her forehead. And then just wipe it upwards. Okay, new towel. Now we're going to tone her face. So if you have a spray toner, one thing to make sure of is don't just spray this directly in your client's face because if her eyes are closed and she's relaxing, if you spray her face with it, it's gonna just mess her all up and she's gonna be surprised. So just spray it on your cotton and wipe upwards. Okay, and then you just throw this away. Now we're going to exfoliate and I'm just using a little beaded thing. Um, you can all, if you're doing this on a real client, also use a brush and do it the same way we did the cleanser. Put it on her face and then put the brush on just so it doesn't spread everywhere. And just work in upward motions, starting at her neck and going up her jawline and her cheeks, up to her temples and her forehead. Make sure you get um, really well around her nose. A lot of people need exfoliation around there and it tends to be drier. Okay, and then just throw those away. Then you're gonna get your towel again and remove it. So I just put it underneath her lips and up on her face. And just hold it on there for a couple seconds. And then just swipe it upward. And you can go back and wipe anything it may have missed. And then you would use a new towel next time. Okay, then we're going to tone her again. So just get your cotton and Spray it. Make sure if you have a liquid toner that doesn't have a sprayer, not to touch your thing when you pour it. Don't touch your cotton to your bottle. Okay, then you're just gonna go again in upward motions. Okay, and then throw those away. Okay, now we're gonna begin the massage. So you're just gonna start by putting your massage cream in your hands and warming it up. Then you're gonna have your client lean back a little and start by just gently dragging, bringing the face up. Start at her jawline and just do this three times and go around her lips, up to her, the top of her ear, and then her nose to her temple, and then her forehead. And you're gonna do that movement three times. So I'm gonna have you turn your head a little bit so I can kind of show them when you head back. So just start by at her jawline then her lips up to her ear, then
in her nose up to her temple and then her forehead and then just do that one more time okay now you're going to start again at the chin and you're just going to kind of use the sides of your thumbs and your fingers to just gently grasp the skin in an upward movement. And you're just going to go in the same places that you did the first time. And you're going to do that three times as well. Your massage should take a good amount of time on a client because that's like the main thing that they're there for. So make sure you take your time with this and really, really give them a good massage. Okay, and then the last one is you're just going to take the beds of your fingers and gently tap underneath their chin all in the same places so you're going to go around her lips and up from her nose to her temple and then her forehead and instead of just stopping and then going back make sure you work your hands back down her face and then start again you always want to have at least one hand on your client that way it just stays smooth and she's not surprised by any abrupt movements. Okay, then we're going to remove the massage cream. Just place the towel back on her face, how we had earlier, and just hold it to her face. Okay, now we're going to apply the mask. I'm just going to use this deep pore mask. Make sure your mask thing doesn't touch the cotton. Okay, then you're just going to apply this the same way you did everything else. You can also use like um, a brush at home. I mean, at the at school, or we have um, like the mask applicators or something like that. I don't have one, so I'm just using cotton but typically you'd use a mask applicator. And just also make sure that you put it on her neck, under her chin. And then throw those away. Then your mask will sit for seven to 10 minutes. Just let your client relax, sit back. You'll have music playing in the background um, and just be quiet and let your client relax. Um, we're gonna pretend it's been 10 minutes and then you're just gonna remove it the same way with your towel again. So just put it underneath her mouth and around her face and then just hold it
okay and throw that towel away and then you're going to tone again so get your cotton and spray and then just start again at her neck and work upwards And throw those away and then all you're going to do is moisturize I'm just going to apply this again with the cotton And then you're all done. Her face is glowing. Um, also, my headband fell off while I was doing it. If that happens, don't pick it up and put it back on her head. Just get a clean one or just keep working and do what you can so you don't get any hair in the products. So, hope you guys have a great snow day. Bye!